Hi, this is a short tutorial on the button prototype asset for Unreal Engine. Start by adding a PK button prototype actor from Blueprints Core into the scene. A button has two main components, the base, that is the optional fixed part of the button, and the handle, the movable part. You can use any meshes you like, but this pack comes filled with a lot of prototyping meshes you can choose from. Each base mesh has a socket. If snap to socket is selected, the handle mesh will be automatically snapped to the handle socket. The default socket name can be changed if needed. Usually, handles and bases share the same material, but a separate handle material can be specified in the advanced properties. Here are some more button examples. Depending on the number of states defined in the state component, the handle can be animated by either rotating it, moving it, or a combination of both. More about the state component in the next tutorials. For now, consider the number of states as the number of positions a button handle can have. For example, this button has four states, thus, four distinct positions. This one has only two states. Each button has a sliding joint that can move the handle on X, Y, and Z axis, and a rotation joint that can rotate the handle on one of the X, Y, or Z axis. The initial rotation offset and initial position offset are used for making small adjustments to the handle location. This will be the position corresponding to the first index in the state array. The rotation amplitude and position delta are used when calculating the actual handle state transition animation. For example, this button can slide, has an initial offset of 5 on X, as the handle socket is put in the center of the slider, and a position delta of 10. Because position delta is proportional, and the button has 4 states, the handle will move with 10 divided by 4 units, on every state transition. The animation type works the same way for both rotation and movement. If the animation type is proportional, the offset is divided by the total number of states. A constant animation type will make the same animation every time, using the full offset value, first in forward direction, then in reverse. A constant directional animation will look at the state increment. If states go up, it will first make a forward animation, then reverse it. If states go down, it will first go in reverse, then forward. Incremental, the full value of the offset is added, or subtracted, at every state change. This is useful when combined with rotation use shortest path setting, to achieve this disk rotation effect. This was just a partial demonstration of the button prototype asset. You can do much more with it. For more information, read the online documentation, inspect the samples in the demo level, or stay tuned for more tutorials in this series.